Hi everyone, my name is Navdeep. I am CCA 175 certified. Today we will be talking all about CCA 175, that is Hadoop and Spark Developer exam. So I came across many questions. People ask me what kind of environment we get, what kind of question we get, are we able to access the documentation, everything. So I'll be trying to cover all the questions that I came across so far. And if I'm not able to answer your particular question, please feel free to comment on below video. I'll make sure I'll answer your question as well. So starting with very basics, it's a hands-on exam. So you will get approximately eight to 12 question that is completely hands-on. In my time, I got nine question. Uh, so the time to solve all these question is two hours and the passing score is 70%. And the cost of the exam is $295. Uh, I'll say the worth because it's a growing technology and a lot of market value nowadays. So getting started with our first question, people ask me what kind of environment we get. So if you have worked with a Cloudera VM before, so it is very similar to that. The only difference is the VM will get launched in a browser. So it will be very slow as compared to the actual virtual machine you might have used earlier but it will be pre-installed with all the safe softwares you require to solve the questions. That is, it is pre-installed with terminals. It is having all the uh, documentation links. It has uh, that uh, sublime text editor. The second question that I came across frequently is whether the cluster is installed with Spark 1.6 or Spark 2.2. So by default, it is the exam environment is installed with Spark 1.6, but uh, you, it is having the package for Spark 2.3 as well. So if you want to switch to Spark 2.3, you can do so. The third most frequent question is whether we can solve the exam with Scala, Python or Java. So the answer is it doesn't really matter. The only thing that matter is the final output. So you have to derive the final output no matter in which language you solve your questions. Another question is like uh, whether we get question on Fluma streaming. So my answer uh, would be no, though it is in the exam slippers, but I have not seen anybody facing Fluma streaming questions so far. Like with me, 35 of people set for the exam and none of us encountered Fluma streaming questions. So I don't think you will also get one, but if you get one. Okay, talking about the templates. So we have not seen any templates. All the questions were straightforward. No templates were provided. Okay, can we use documentation in the actual exam? Uh, yes, you will be provided with the link of documentation, but the only problem is the virtual machine will be very slow. And so don't rely on the documentation because it will waste your time. And time management is the very important aspect of this certificate. Kind of questions we get in the actual exam. So first for sure you will get one import question, scoop import and one scoop export question. The other type of questions will be working with different file formats like reading CSV, Parquet, Avro, or JSON files or maybe reading data from the Hive tables and then doing some simple transformation. You can use Spark SQL to do so those transformation that will be pretty straightforward. And then saving those results in different format, like saving it in Avro, Parquet, again, CSV, JSON, uh, and tab formatting, and, and in different compression uh, types like gzip, deflate, snappy. So, so here are some tips uh, for going, before going for the exam. The first one is uh, the environment will be slow, so try to uh, not waste time on one single question. If you are stuck on a single question, park it, move to the next one, solve it, and then after solving all the questions, then you can come on the difficult one. So don't try to waste uh, your time on a single question. The second thing is, uh, don't uh, try to give your exam in your company internet because I tried to give it and there were some proxies. Uh, firewall installed so I was not able to access uh, the cluster so uh, I ended giving up on the mobile network so don't try to give it uh, inside the office. Uh, the third thing is uh, last but not the least I have created a like practice test for CCA 175 exam on Udemy 
I'll share the link for that in my description box. You can check and go for those practice tests. That is the actual simulation of the exam that we got. So I I, I think many of my students have cleared the exams using that those practice tests. And I wish you all the best for your exam. And let me know if you have any further question. I'll be happy to answer.